would you get into a Mr. Beast YouTube video? Everyone knows Mr. Beast is the king of YouTube making the world's most viral videos. Starting today, I am not gonna stop until I get into one of his videos. Let's go. The only problem is he doesn't know who I am yet. And yes, I already tried DMing him, but Jimmy's a busy guy. So my friends and I came up with a bunch of awesome ideas to get his attention, but we need to make sure he sees this video. So now more than ever, we need your help. If I get into Mr. Beast's video and I win money, I'm gonna be splitting it with my subscribers, and that means you. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out. Are you serious? We've been brainstorming a ton of ideas to get Mr. Beast's attention, and we're gonna do them all until he notices us. Some of these ideas are so crazy, we don't wanna spoil them here, cause they're gonna need their own video. So what's first? All right, we're starting big. Get a tattoo. All right, let's do it. On your face. Wait, what? On your face. You ready, man? No. Oh, God. How's it look? Oh. That's, that says Mr. Beast. This is so stupid. All right, Mr. Beast. You ready? Not really. <laughs> Just don't look at me like that. <laughs> There's no good way to look at that. Hey, yeah. don't make him laugh. This is going on his face. This, this, I'm, just, I'm starting to regret this, but yeah. I feel like we already started, so you can't stop, right? Right. Yeah. You sure it looks good? <laughs> it looks tragic. All right, man, we're gonna start filling it in now. Take a deep breath. All right, it's been two hours, and Ryan's tattoo is finally done. Time for the big reveal. Let's see it, Ryan. What do you think, man? I think this was a really, really big mistake. Oh, man. <laughs> please don't let anyone know I did this to you. We already tagged you in the video. I right, please don't. Just, uh... <laughs> I got this tattoo on my forehead hoping that the pure shock would get Mr. Beast's attention. So we made this TikTok and uploaded it and it only got about 100,000 views in a few days, which is not enough. Now I know what you're thinking, Ryan, you're just stuck with this ugly tattoo on your forehead. One, my tattoo isn't ugly, it's actually healed really well over the last few days. And two, it wasn't a real tattoo. I was really hoping to trick people who didn't know who I was on TikTok and hopefully Mr. Beast would hear about it. But it didn't work, so we gotta think bigger. 800 square feet bigger. We bought this billboard, that's me and Mr. Beast riding a rocket ship. We spent weeks designing billboards with the perfect messaging to capture Mr. Beast's attention. Can you go lower? I can't go. You can go just a little. Come on. It took a month for these billboards to be put up and cost us nearly $40,000. Wait, 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 wait. You said 40,000, not, not 4,000, 40,000. Okay. Yeah, no, I can make it work. I mean, you have to, I'll move some things around, but I can make it work. Yep, thank you, you too. All right, see you, John, bye. Did you just hear that? Um. You know what's better than one billboard? A second billboard. You know what's better than two billboards? A third billboard. We have, we have three billboards now. There's three of them. That's the third billboard we have. You know what's better than a third billboard? A fourth billboard, and I know, we couldn't actually afford a fourth billboard. All we could afford was this park bench, which I, I don't know where it is. We It's one single park bench, so the guy just sent us a photo of it. It's somewhere in our city. We were never actually able to find it, but there it is. All right, everybody, I'm taking L after L after L. The tattoo TikTok failed. Nobody saw it. The billboard TikTok only got like 60,000 views. One of my worst TikToks I've ever posted. I don't know, what do we do, just, just give up? No, not at all. We are never giving up. We actually have something even bigger and even better planned right now. It could be coming any minute now, and I gotta show this to you guys. It, what? Right now? Whoa, 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 where, 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 where? It looks so good. We had a plane hired to write sub to Mr. Beast in the sky. Let's go to the roof. Let's okay. Go. We're gonna get a better view right now. We only got it for a few minutes. Mr. Beast is almost at 100 million subscribers. So we were thinking we could help him get to 100 million by having a plane sky right over all of Los Angeles sub to Mr. Beast. It looks incredible. Let me show you again. Come here. Look, it's a sub to Mr. Beast up in the air right there in the sky over all of Los Angeles. It's incredible. It looks so good. Guys, let's go. Look at this. It looks incredible. What do you think? Comment down below. I'm just so happy we could pull this off. Hundreds of thousands, if not millions of people are going to see this skywriting. I'm in serious trouble. Mr. Beast tried to DM me on TikTok, but I wasn't following him. And then he didn't see my TikTok reply, so I have to come up with a bigger way to make it up to him. The guys and I came up with a ton of ideas to get Mr. Beast over 100 million subscribers. Then he'll have no choice but to forgive me and finally put me in a YouTube video. Mr. Beast is the best in the world at one thing, giving away money. So to get him to 100 million subscribers, we're gonna give away money. We're gonna give away $500 in this briefcase right now. We're gonna find someone willing to take the challenge. They're gonna have to hunt 
grind down across the UCLA campus in five minutes for their chance to win. Five minutes, $500, let's go. You want to push it? You sure? I do want to push it. It just says push for money, so why not, right? You want to, go push. All right, there's another man on campus in a blue suit. You have five minutes to get everything. Somewhere on campus? I, I'll tell you a rough location if you want to, but yeah. this is going on you. All right. Five minutes? You have five minutes. <laughs> Left us in a scooter. How am I supposed to? Finish? Big shout out to Valerie, thank you so much. Have a great thank day. You guys. $500 right in her pocket. Hopefully that's enough to get Mr. Beast over 100 million subscribers. She's fantastic, she deserved it. And comment down below if you wanna see us give away money again. God, that was awesome. It is still insane to me that people don't know who Mr. Beast is. Do you know who Mr. Beast is on YouTube? No. You've never heard of him? No. That's insane to me. We commissioned a very skilled and very expensive artist to make this original painting. Um, this original painting of Mr. Beast, but what's the point of a painting if nobody's going to see it? We're gonna take this thing and sneak it into one of the biggest museums in the United States. We can't bring a painting in? Are you sure? I think it's pretty good and I painted it myself and I was wondering if we could put it up. All right, so the art looks amazing, but now I'm gonna get some opinions of people to see if it actually looks like it fits in this museum. Sound good? I like it. First of all, do you, do you like this painting? Out of your own per I like it. You like it? Do you, what do you think he's thinking about? He does look very dignified. It's something about the, like, the staring off into the distance. Arrogant? He looks arrogant, okay. Yeah, I feel like he has that air about him. He feels like he's important. Makes sense. Like feels like he's important. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. All right, so that went perfectly. I cannot believe that we actually got that painting up on the wall. It's gonna live in this building behind us, hopefully for all of time, and everyone in the art community is gonna see it. But we have something even bigger planned. Right behind me, you're about to see what we've been working on for weeks. We bought Mr. Beast a hot air balloon with his logo on it. The next thing you're gonna see is me getting in that balloon and flying up in the air. Let's go. This thing is bigger than a house when it's fully inflated, over 120 feet tall. It's massive. This is the first time I've ever seen the balloon inflated. It looks incredible, right? I think it's one of the most amazing things we've ever done. I'm so excited to hop in there. Next thing you'll see is me up in the balloon. Okay, so Ryan's in the balloon right now. It turned out amazing. Look how good it looks. I can't wait till Mr. B sees it. Ryan's about to go up right now. All right, we're about to take off right now. Here we go. Look, there, there he is right there. Yeah, it's gorgeous, but also insane. <laughs> it's crazy, they're just like floating. It's like effortless. You look good? Yeah. They look cool from above? It looks good? Somewhat. All right, good. So that was a blast. Everything turned out amazingly. A beautiful ride. The logo looked great. But we have one more bigger thing coming up next. We're gonna fly this balloon over the Hollywood sign in downtown Los Angeles. There, there it is, there it is. Guys, we've been waiting here for about 25 minutes now and I think we just started to see it coming over the horizon. There it is. This looks incredible. We've been working on this project for months now. It's one of the most expensive things that we've ever done. One of the hardest things we've ever done and it's finally coming to fruition. It looks great. Thousands if not millions of people are going to see this. But if this doesn't get Mr. Beast's attention, if this doesn't get him to 100 million subscribers, I don't know what will. How would you clone the biggest YouTuber in the world? I'm going to fool the entire internet by creating the ultimate Mr. Beast lookalike. So here's the plan. Find someone who looks a little bit like Mr. Beast and transform their personality and appearance until they're a perfect Mr. Beast clone. This is Jake and he is a dead lookalike for Mr. Beast. So we're gonna use him to fool the internet. But first Jake, we have to transform your look. You ready? Uh, sure. Let's break the internet. All right, open your eyes on three, two, one. Oh! Okay, I see it. Okay. The facial hair addition is crazy. Yeah, it looks like it's actually your hair. Oh, okay, I see it now. Put this one for me. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> I see it. Cold hard cash. 
<laughs> we'll work on the voice a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> so this was Jake before, and this is Jake now. You look so much like Mr. Beast. I'm honestly floored. I think you look great. How do you feel? I feel I feel good. I, I, I feel like Mr. Beast. Okay, can you say I'm Mr. Beast for me? I'm Mr. Beast. That was terrible. <laughs> Every day he survives in this room, I give him $10,000. Every day he survives in this room, I give him $10. $10. <laughs> That's the right direction already. Like You're getting the, the speed and the flow of it. I think what we need to do is we need to practice this for a minute and then we should shoot a Mr. Beast intro with him and see how it looks. Okay, okay. what's that? Remember, the entire idea here is to fake the internet with a fake Mr. Beast clone. If we can do that, if we can trick the world, the real Mr. Beast might put me in a YouTube video. Guys, if this doesn't work and Jake can't pull this off, we're gonna have to start over from the beginning. So please, now more than ever, we need your help. Subscribe, comment down below. Let us know what you think. Is he gonna pull it off? Can we do this? Let's try. Right behind me, I have a brand new car. And right behind me, I have three of my friends. Guys, raise your right hand. Now put them down. The last person to take their hand off the car keeps it. All right, what do you think? That is Jake, I mean Jimmy's, first YouTube intro ever. Did he sell it? Comment it down below. Now, on to phase number two. Can we fool other people? Can I fool my friends? Can we fool the internet? You ready? Let's do it. Hey, Let's hey. do it. Hey. What? Can I go to the bathroom? I still haven't gone yet. Now we are on to the ultimate test to get Mr. Beast to notice us. We need to go and create a viral video. Hopefully he'll see it. We have a bunch of ideas. We have a bunch of things we're going to film and we're going to see which video gets the most views. Let's do this. So apparently we're going to film a video of me eating what appears to be mayonnaise out of a mayonnaise jar but will actually be vanilla pudding and uh, making some viral TikToks about it. <laughs> this is gold, bro. Yep, this is it. Yeah, this, yeah. Is, this is it for sure. Yeah. How do we top that? Um, swing set? Yeah. The oh. uh, baby swings try to get in there. Okay. That can work. Let's, let's, let's do it. Let's do it. It's perfect. Yeah, uh, that was no acting required. That was very uncomfortable. All right, you ready? Let's do it. I'm not sure if it, that one looks like him as much. Yeah. Yeah. Potential's there. Potential's there. But we don't know if it will execute or not. Okay, Jake, why are you holding this onion in front of Ralph's? Because we're going to try to make a viral TikTok of me as Mr. Beast just eating an onion walking out of Ralph's. Does Mr. Beast actually do that? You know, I don't know, but my money would be on no. Money shot. Money shot. <laughs> That's it, that's how you go. That's it, that's viral, viral, that's viral. All right, that's good, that's good. And don't forget, if I get in a Mr. Beast video, I'm gonna split all the money that I win with you guys. So make sure you subscribe and tag along. All right, so that is everything that we needed to film with Jake as Mr. Beast. Hopefully it fools the internet. How do you feel? I feel pretty good. I feel like one of them could actually fool. I think I think so too. How do you feel? I feel pretty good. Yeah, your finest work. Yeah, all right, we'll see what happens. See you in a bit. We posted the TikToks with the fake Mr. Beast about seven days ago. We posted some to my page and some of them to a brand new page with zero followers. I haven't watched them yet. I have no idea how many views they got. So let's check it out for the first time together right now. All right, so some mixed responses here. Some videos did really well, some did really badly. Let's go from worst to best. First, we have this TikTok right here. It's a video where Mr. Beast walks up to a random guy and makes him tie his shoe. We thought it'd be pretty funny if Mr. Beast went and paid somebody to tie his shoes. Only 70 views. This one is a total fail. This one is him sadly on a seesaw by himself with nobody else around. This looks painful. He just keeps hitting his butt on the ground. It looks bad. Only about 500 people saw this one. Total fail. Okay, now onto the fourth video, and this is where things get interesting because we posted the last two videos on my page. This video is Mr. Beast on a swing set by himself, looking lonely. He's trying to get in like a child swing so he doesn't fit. He's just trying to like, you know, inch on in there. This one got over 110,000 views, which is pretty good for TikTok. Not great, but a lot better. He looks a lot more like Mr. Beast. This video looks more real. All right, now onto the last video, and this one is by far the best performing one. Almost 700,000 views when we film this. It could have way more by the time this video gets posted. This one, where he's in the middle of the park eating mayonnaise out of a jar. Disgusting, people are walking by. It looks a lot like Mr. Beast. It's a really, really short clip, 
I mean, he just takes a big old spoonful of mayo. It's disgusting. I think this one worked. I think we fooled the internet on this video, but on all the other ones, total fail. Let me know what you guys think. I think this TikTok is a nine and a half out of 10. We were so close, but not quite there. We didn't fool the entire world, but we fooled a lot and lot of people with this. All right, if you're still watching this, let me know down below. Did we do it? Is this a success or a failure? Personally, I think it's kind of a failure. We tricked hundreds of thousands of people, but we have to fool millions if we want to go mega viral and get Mr. Beast's attention. In the next video, we're going to go bigger than ever before. We are going to buy Mr. Beast an island. I'll see you there. If you were one of the richest people in the world, how would you let everybody know? You'd buy an island. Everyone who's anyone has an island. Beyonce, Bill Gates, and even Mr. Beast, the biggest YouTuber in the world. Well. He used to. This is Jeff Island. Mr. Beast bought it for one of his YouTube videos a few years ago, but he gave it away. Now, if you haven't been following along, we've been doing everything we can to get Mr. Beast's attention so he'll put me in a YouTube video. Last video, we even cloned him, but we need to go bigger. So in today's video, I'm going to buy Mr. Beast his own private island. The island that Mr. Beast bought is super rad, but then he gave it to Chandler who sold it. I had to sell the island. So what I'm thinking is, if we buy the exact same island and give it to Mr. Beast, there's no way he can ignore us. Casey, you wanna look it up? Okay, so what island is the Mr. Beast Island? Question mark. Golden K Island in the Bahamas. Like we said before, this island is named Jeff, but now we know it's called Golden K, so we're gonna look if we can buy it and see if any of these realty websites have it for sale. Oh, oh, I found it, but um, bad news, the price has gone up to $800,000. Oh my God. There's no way we can afford $800,000. I'm going to all the premier real estate companies in Los Angeles, and with this snazzy suit and my charisma, there's no way I can't negotiate the best deal for the best island. Hey, hey are you a real estate group? I'm looking for a contact to uh, purchase commercial islands. I'm looking to buy an island, like land, like an island, like an island, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like anything under 800,000. Um, I don't really know of any agents that sell islands. Um, I'm looking to find a contact who, connect, ah, who can connect me with island sales. Yeah, this is his card, so if you want to call him. Okay, great. Yeah. yeah, well, thank you so much. So far, no luck, but we did get a card for some guy who works at a place called Islands For You, so we're going to try that tomorrow. Hopefully, we can find something in our price range. It took us a few days to find the business that was on that card, Islands For You. Apparently, they're the leading supplier of used and refurbished islands in California. Only problem is, it brought us to this strip mall, and I don't see the business anywhere. See a Thai place? A light clinic. A vegetarian restaurant. The only thing that looks kind of good is this real estate office, so let's go check it out. Okay, so it seems like a real estate office, but I'm just seeing stuff about homes, nothing about islands. They just sold this house for $5.6 million. I think I see a guy in there. Should we go in? Hello? Sir? Oh, hey, hey, uh, how are you? How are you? Uh, sorry, I wasn't waiting for you. One second. Sorry, just one second. This is the guy? This is the island guy? This is the guy that sells the islands? I don't, you're the one who had the card, I don't know. Dude, why is he in such a big office by himself? Why is he asleep? Hey! How are you? Welcome, oh, welcome. Ryan, I'm Ryan. Ryan, nice to meet Casey. you, Ryan. Hi, I'm Casey. Casey, uh, what's your name? Ethan. Even, Ethan, Ethan. Ethan, Ethan. My name is uh, Giovanni Fazzi, but you mm -hmm. can call me Giovanni Fazzi. Yeah. What? Do you care if we film in here? So we just, we're trying, sure, we're, we're trying to buy something, uh, so we just wanted to document you. the whole process. So. Oh yeah, yeah, of course, you are in the right place. What are you looking for? Condos, houses, uh, apartments, what are you looking for? <laughs> something a little bigger. We're looking for islands. An do you, island? Do you sell islands? Like a kitchen islands? <laughs> no, I'm joking. Of course, you are in the right place. Please follow me, follow me, follow Wait. me. All right. Okay. Please, please, have a seat. <laughs> Such a pleasure to have you in. <laughs> please, please, please. And I was telling you that you are exactly in the right place because I just created island for you. <laughs> let's have a seat. Let's talk. Let's talk. Let's talk. So, what kind of budget are you looking for? Uh, we... What kind of island are you looking for? Hopefully, some medium to... island, a big island, a small island, island full of people, a naked island. What kind of island? Just anything that we can get our hands on, I guess. Yeah. Really. Yeah. Beautiful. Let's see some option here. <laughs> As you can see, we can start with the Crown Pigeon Island. Only 10.5. Eh? 10.5 thousand? Millions. millions of dollars? Yes. These are millions of dollars? Of course, we're talking about Highland. An island for you, it's all about millions. I understand. What's your budget, guys? Uh, not millions. Sub 100,000? Yeah, like low, low 10,000s. I like your style. Probably I have something that can work for you. 
just on the market, $60,000 island. Think about this, only three people disappeared so far in this island, only three, and you have... People disappear here? Uh, oh, it happens only here and there, you know, when you have uh, high water, when the moon got very close. I mean, so far, only three times. It happens in a few months. <laughs> it's a very good record. Dude, the price, though. Like, how are you going to beat $60,000? It's so low. Ryan's signing all the papers right now to buy this island. And since we closed today, Giovanni's going to charter a boat so that in two days we can go out and check out the island. We're here at a harbor on the coast of California where one of these boats is about to sail us hours into the middle of the ocean so we can finally see our island. We have to make sure it's up to Mr. B's standards before we deliver it to him later today. So we just landed on the island. I came with my friends, Ethan, Casey, Chris, and Chop. We're gonna explore the island for a few hours. Hopefully not too long. Just check it out. Make sure it's a good place for Mr. Beast to come. And then we're gonna leave, head back to shore later today. So I have to be honest, this place is beautiful, but it's not what I was expecting. It's not as tropical as I would have thought. It's really cold here. It probably explains why it was so cheap to buy it. There are three steps to this mission. Step one is to explore. Step two is to plant a flag and claim the island for our own. And step three is get to our boat in four hours so we don't miss our ride home and we can finally give this island to Mr. Beast. Let's go. Dude, Mr. Beast is gonna love this place. Hopefully not. This place is a hike. I'm Dude, tired. Th this is probably the coolest place I've ever been to. I think he's gonna go crazy for this place. Maybe, possibly, but like, I'm just trying to leave. Um, just have a good time for once in your life. This place is sick. Now, that was that. We've been hiking for like two hours now and sure, the views are great, but I'm not much of an island guy. I prefer like buildings and roads and fast food drive throughs So I think this works. I think we can give it to Jimmy and we can go home. Wait, aren't we gonna like hang out? No. I feel a strong urge to live here for the rest of my life. Yeah, and I have a strong urge to push you off the cliff. This place is trash. Dude, stop being so immature and just enjoy it. It's really cool. I hate it here. We've done a bunch of exploring over the last few hours and we found some things that we think we gotta tell you about. Firstly, look at these amazing ocean views. Bro, this view sucks. All right, so we just found one of the best spots on the island to plant our flag. The guys are gonna start building it and they're gonna put it up right here. This flag is an ode to Mr. Beast himself. It's a giant white flag with his logo on it. Anyone coming into this island will be able to see it from the ocean. All right. So this is a message to anyone coming to this island that this belongs to Mr. Beast Jimmy Donaldson. All right, I think we did a great job and we can officially check planting the flag off of our list. Now we have a few hours to go explore around the island, see what's here before we have to get on our boat and get out of here. And look at how gigantic this island is. I have no idea how we got so much land for only $60,000. 60? Yeah. Lots of land for what? For all the land, for the space. This place sucks. Chris, can you just be more like Chop for once? He's having the time of his life. I love this place. I mean, yeah, it's pretty cool. It's good. Dude, he's a little much, right? This island has huge cliffs and caves, which are both awesome for exploring. That is terrifying. You can definitely hide a dead body back. Okay, we should probably get out of here then. Wait, hold up. And they even have a unique species of bug, which are attached at the butt. Comment hashtag butt bug below and Ryan will reply to your comment. All right, I'm sure you're seeing what I'm seeing. This island is incredible. There's so many things to do, so many places to explore. I have thousands of ideas of unique, awesome videos that I can, hold on a second, of awesome videos I can film here. So just imagine when we give this island to um, Mr. Beast, the world, hold on. Right. Mr. Beast, the world's biggest YouTuber, what he would film here. Can you focus? I'm trying to do the, 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 the outro. Is that our boat? Oh my God. What are we supposed to do? What are we supposed to do? That is the only boat. These boats only come when they're chartered, Ethan. How? That's what? our ride. That's our only way home. What do we do? I don't know. Do you have? Do I have what? This is so bad. What are we supposed to do? That is our only way home. That's the only boat that's coming. What are we supposed to tell everybody? I have to be honest with them and just tell them what happened. You know, we missed the boat. Yo, Casey. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Um, do you want good news or bad news? Uh, good news, I guess. I don't have good news. Um, so, we missed the boat. Oh, okay. I see what you're doing. All no, right, I'm, so, not, um, I'm not messing around. We were literally filming and the boat was gone. It was 
going away. All right, well, the boat doesn't leave for an hour, so I know that you're trying to mess with me, so. I'm not messing with maybe you. Maybe we should start packing up. The boat is gone, and I don't know what to do, and I don't know how to tell them, so what do we do? Well, if the boat's gone, how are we getting back? The boat wasn't supposed to leave for like 45 minutes to an hour, so I don't know. Well, you booked the boat, so are you sure you booked the boat for the right of The guy booked the boat, and we were supposed to get on the boat and then be ready to leave when the boat left, and the boat just left. Hey, Ryan, well, we're on an uninhabited island with no people and no electricity, no running water, and no food, and no shelter, and no place to sleep, or no way to call for help, so what are we supposed to do then, Ryan? That's why I wanted to ask you, because I was hoping that you'd be more of a problem solver in the situation rather than yelling at me about the fact that we missed the boat. You didn't even tell anyone we're on the island because it's supposed to be a big surprise for Mr. Beast, and no one even knows that we're here. We missed a boat? Yeah. This is the best day ever! What is wrong with you? Guess I'm fixing this too. Alright. Mr. Beast loves chocolate, so what better way to get his attention than with a hot tub filled with his own chocolate bar? Lately, I've been on a mission to get in a Mr. Beast YouTube video, but apparently cloning him and buying him a literal island is not enough for him to notice me. Hold up, if you've been following my TikTok, you know that Mr. Beast actually already noticed us. Unfortunately, I wasn't following him on TikTok, so he wasn't able to message me. But he doesn't follow me. That's why we need your help, and we need to keep making these videos so we don't miss out on this opportunity. If I get in a Mr. Beast video, I'm gonna split the money with my subscribers, so make sure you're subscribed. You're not gonna wanna miss this jackpot. Today, we're making the world's largest chocolate hot tub made entirely of Mr. Beast bars. I bought every Mr. Beast bar I could get my hands on. Seriously, every bar I could find. In these boxes, you're looking at nearly $10,000 of chocolate bars. We're taking every single one of these bars and melting them down. And now we're pouring this chocolatey goodness into the pool. So, uh, like a thousand more times of that and then we'll be done, right? Now, with over 2,000 Mr. Beast bars, you'd think we'd have a really good chance of finding a golden ticket which would put us in a Mr. Beast video. But my good friend Ethan here has been entering codes for days now and we still haven't found anything yet. Can I please leave, dude? The guys and I are gonna work on this chocolate hot tub all morning and when it's filled up and I finally get in, I am not getting out until Mr. Beast puts me in a YouTube video. So let's do it. We've been working on this chocolate hot tub for days and I think just about now it's gonna be ready. Casey? All right, it's ready to go. All that's left is to get in. Um, unfortunately though, we don't have any extension cords, so it's uh, not gonna be a hot tub. It's just gonna be a chocolate pool. Wait, what? Are you, it's supposed to be a hot tub. Oh, it's freezing, it's a freezing tub. It's a room temperature tub, don't be a baby. All right, everybody, it is the moment of truth. I'm hopping in right now. Comment down below and wish me luck. And also remember, <gasps> Holy f That is literally ice. That is ice. It is chocolate ice. That is, that is awful. Okay. All right. So the goal is be in the pool as long as it takes to get noticed and get in a video. The thing is, I'm not gonna go all the way under for a little bit. So I'm gonna spend the first maybe 30, 40 minutes letting my legs warm it up. because It's really cold right now. Uh, cue the time lapse. So I've been in the hot tub or cold tub for about 30, 45 minutes now. It's about time I get under the actual chocolate, right? I think it's heated up a little bit. Here we go. Oh my God. It's always the worst part when it hits your butt crack. <laughs> okay, I'm feeling a lot warmer now, so what we're gonna do next is, hey! What's up guys? Yo, dude, what is that? <laughs> It looks Yo, like whoa, the hot whoa, tub of chocolate. Whoa. It looks like some? Mr. Beast chocolate, yeah. It, oh, Wait, Mr. Beast chocolate. Mr. Beast chocolate. Mr. Beast bar chocolate. So I see you guys uh, are just coming to hang out. You want to hop in? Uh, you know, hey, I'm we kind of talk, feeling, okay, let's go right, talk right, first. I'm so confused right now. Okay. I told so him if, I he think, pay, if he pays the price, I'll go knee deep. Oh, 100%. If, he, if the price is right, yeah, I, I mean, I'll say I did in Carter's video. I stood in the chocolate before. It's not bad. Not too bad. It's, it's a little colder than Carter's, but yeah, a lot of it. Ryan, huh, what's up? We have a proposition. <laughs> what does that mean? We both need to get paid a good amount of money. If we want to go in. Well, I have a different proposition. We'll have much money. At least five hundred dollars each. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah. No chance. <laughs> I have a different proposition for you. First one into the hot tub between Bailey and Stove gets $100 in cash. They just gotta get their head under. I don't know. How about this? I'll get in the pool with you. Yeah. If if Mr. Beast recognizes you and he acknowledges you and puts you in his video, yeah. you gotta bring me along. Okay, so you'll get in, no money, if I bring you into a Mr. Beast video too. Yeah. Yeah. All right, deal, hop in. Ah! So you good? So you're good. Let me back up to the side. Do you remember? Do you remember when we did the biggest bowl of cereal in the world ever? Yeah, remember I can that? remember that. Is this better or worse than that? Uh, this this is yeah. worse. 
All right, Stove hops in. Woo. Bailey, you're up. You hopping in? Uh, no way. Come on, man. Come on, we need you in here. Yo, we need you in. I'm not going to drive. Dude, I'm Can you guys hop in? One of you hop in. Just hop Bro, in for I'll give one of you 100 bucks. First person in, just hop in. Yes. That's what I've been saying. No, just 100 bucks for somebody. What? Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, no, no. Would make it actually a lot better if I had a real beast bar to eat in this. Right? So that's actually what I was thinking we do next. We have a beast bar eating competition. Ooh. Do you have one? We have three left. These are the last three Mr. Beast bars we have. We're gonna have a chocolate eating competition right now. Have you ever had a Mr. Beast bar? Nope. No, no, I'm ready. I've had a few, one or two maybe. So here's what's gonna happen. Last person to finish their Mr. Beast bar loses and is eliminated from the hot tub. Do you say if, if you lose, you're out? Yeah, if you lose, you're out. I haven't had the original flavor yet, just the almond one. I'm excited. You guys ready? Yeah. You're open? Yep. Ooh. You're open? Yep. Okay. In three, two, one, go. Oh, oh, we melted. Mm -hmm. oh, <laughs> Bailey's here. I'm not. It melted. It's melting. Hello. My name is Stove. My last piece. My last piece. <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. There's no way you're done. I'm done. I'm done. Stove. You didn't even eat half of it. What is that? Stove, there's more chocolate <laughs> on your face than there is in your body right now. Stove is last between the three of us. So Stove is sadly out of the chocolate no, hot tub. I'm, I'm still in. Yeah, you're out. No, I'm, I'm still in. You know what? I was having a lot of fun in there, but if Ryan actually wants to get Mr. Beast's attention, he's doing it all wrong, to be honest. Like, you need a chocolate slip inside. Oh yeah! Woo! Okay, now that's how you get Mr. Beast's attention. The chocolate slip inside. Look at this. Come on now. Yo, what is Stove doing? Yeah, that looks like a blast. Let's go. No, no, I can't leave. I can't leave. I can't leave. This is terrible. It's not even a slip. He's not slipping or sliding. Yo, Ryan looks like he's not having that much fun. I'm gonna give him some chocolate. Yo, what are you doing? Are you okay? Are you? Whoa, 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 no, 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 no. Are you good? So, I think you should go home. No, why? Yo, you have a Lord. sugar high right now. I'm not. You had no, I don't. Chocolate. You should go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Good. <laughs> stop, 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 chill. Stop, stop, go home. Stop, go home. Please go home. But, but stop. Earlier you said you wanted me here. I did, but now yeah. you're gross. I want you to go home. Oh. <laughs> Uh, boy, I actually have to leave. Oh, so, so this is fun. a bad. Go home, get some sleep. Can I go back tomorrow home? then? Maybe the pool is gonna be gone tomorrow. There's no, no way. So okay, I'll, I'll see you guys in an hour. Right? Okay, yeah. Couple hours. Is your car? I don't know. I had too much candy and chocolate today. I'm sorry. Ryan, I'm bored. Do some fun. Come in here. It's fun. No, stove was the only fun one. Just come in. Well, stove's gone, so I'm probably gonna leave. Just you're, stay. You're hang fine. out. No. Ryan, you're bored. I can't do this by myself. Bailey. Deuces, bro. All right, this is really starting to get out of hand. Stove flipped out and made a ton of racket. He had a sugar high or something, so we had to have Casey escort him out and like call security on him. And then Bailey just left because apparently I'm boring. So now I'm alone and freezing in a chocolate hot tub, and I have who knows how many hours left. Maybe we should do some more TikToks what or something like this. What is this? This is my crazy neighbor Sharon. She's been ruining our lives for months, but we're so close to getting Jimmy's attention that we can't let her mess this up. Stop her, stop her, stop her. Stop her. Don't let her come here, stop her. Stop her. What is going hey. on Hey, um, here? sorry, this is, this is our front yard. It's a closed what set. Is... It's a closed set right now. No, 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 no. I knew I smelled something. This is chocolate. Yes, but please, not today. What? Like, just leave us alone. Casey, stop her. Let her make what her What are we supposed to do? we done soon. What is this? Oh, and the bugs. Can you imagine the bugs that are going to be in the neighborhood now? What, what are you done? We're going to clean it all up. But we're done. We're not going to leave it like this. Yeah. We'll be done soon. Please, just not today. Leave us alone. We'll be done in like 20 minutes. Please. No. Whenever Mr. Beast notices no. us. Maybe like 20 days. 20 minutes. Just leave us no. alone. Uh, that's it. No. Wait, what? Wait, that's where are you it. going? Wait, well, hold on. We'll clean it up. We'll clean it up. We're gonna clean it up. We're gonna clean it up. You'll never even know it was here. She left. That's good. 
We should wrap this up quick. And make sure I can't leave the pool. If I leave the pool, the whole thing's up. Do something really quick. Hide underwater. Guys, 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 she has scissors. Wait, what? Hey, hey. Uh, hey. A young man going down the street covered in chocolate syrup. That's okay. What is That's wrong? It's not with illegal. That? You get another it. one. Without a shirt on. Why is that? That's also not illegal. Why do you keep coming on our property? Can you just leave us Why? alone. We're not doing it. Stop her, Casey. Keep what it. We need to do what? Why the noise? Why the mess? This is my job. This is what we do. If you don't clean it up now, I will help you clean it up, no. gentlemen. No, 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 no. Oh, no. Once, one, once Mr. B sees the video, then we're going to clean it up. So then no, hear no. me out. No, 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 I'm gonna help you get rid of this wonky pool. Or should I say, wonka pool? Wait, hey, no, 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 this is the last show. You cannot not come and do this on people's property. Just leave. Just go. I didn't do this. You, you did. Just, you just did it. I don't know how to tell you this. I'm so excited. I'm just going to say it. Our new roommate is Mr. Beast. The Mr. Beast responded to our posting, and he's going to be our new roommate. He's, he's here. He's here. Uh, Mr. Beast? Yeah, you want to help me bring my stuff inside? Uh, sure. Yeah, do you know I have the most subscribers in YouTube history, literally? Yeah. I'm not trying to be rude. Oh my god. Is it just me? That doesn't really look like Mr. Beast, and he's kind of mean. I don't think that's him. <sighs> so, I was told that Mr. Beast was going to live here because he's filming a video here for the next five, six months. Hey, what's up, man? You liking the place? It's a good spot, right? Uh, yeah, I don't really... Uh, you don't like it? I just, no. so. I just thought that they were sending, um... Jimmy. Uh, I am Jimmy. Okay. Um, yeah, I, sorry, one take. What's up, all you cool beasts and kittens? I'm Mr. Beast, and here I am in the video. Just look at his couch. He's making the video. I'm in the video. I'm just not. Hey, the first contestant is me, Casey. No, no, no. What are you doing? This well, is just you, me. You need just me. I have 100 million just subscribers. Uh, just me. Okay, sure, man. Let's, um, hey, are you still on live? Can I, can we talk for a sec? Unless you get to be in it. Of course I'm gonna be in it. I'm the YouTuber. It's a nice house. Dude, come on, you don't need to be like that. Let me show you the place, let me give you the tour. I promise you, it's really gonna grow on you. This place blows. All right, I'm just gonna come out and say it. I'm pretty sure that Mr. Beast is the worst roommate of all time. He's been here, what, maybe two, three days, and he's ruining our house. Jimmy, it's kind of, kind of a mess in here. Normally try to do like cleaning on Thursday. Uh, cool. Yeah, it's cool, you know, you're, cause you're you, and like, I'm cool, I'm your mom, I'm yeah, like a, I'm I'm trying to contact some people about something. Can you just get out of my room? Oh, well, I mean, it's the living room. Tom Cruise wants to be in the next Mission Impossible 19 or whatever. Can you just get out? Yeah, okay, yeah. I'll, 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 I'll get out. See ya, see ya, bro. Yeah, yeah. Damn, lock it. Yeah, that's her. Can you please get out? I don't know if you guys saw, but Jimmy and I, we kind of have a secret handshake. Oh, it's, oh. Um, I've been hiding in my room for the last day because I don't want to go outside and have to deal with this guy. Uh, I guess he started DJing now. Shut up! Truthfully, I'm pretty sure that this guy is just a guy named Jake who I hired four months ago to play Mr. Beast. I'm Mr. Beast. That was terrible. And I'm pretty sure that for four or five months now, he's just been running with it and now he really thinks that he is Mr. Beast. Mom, it has so many features. If, if you don't give me this new iPhone, it just it's proof that you don't love me. Oh my God, Mom. This won't even be happening with people with two million subscribers. He doesn't shower. He doesn't clean up after himself. I'm pretty sure he was peeing in the living room at one point. He wears nothing but his own merch all the time and he looks ridiculous. All he wears is his own merch. We have to find a way to kick him out. Can I just talk to you for a sec? This guy is ridiculous. We have to get him out of here. Can't God. stay. What do you mean? What am I talking about? You just showed me a video of you smiling and him peeing on the floor. A little rowdy, but I think I think he's just saying the stage to do like, I destroyed my friend's house and then bought him a new one. Do, do, you, do you actually think that's that's the real Jimmy Donaldson in there? Yeah, he has a logo on his shirt, and I'll call him Mr. Beast, and he'll answer me, so. Okay, just because you call him Mr. Beast doesn't mean he actually is. Okay, I get it. You saw 
me and Jimmy, you saw us hanging out, you saw our handshake, and now you kind of like try and tear us apart. You think he's filming a video, and you think that this is the real Jimmy, and you have a secret handshake with him. Yeah, it's so secret. Only I know it, he doesn't even know it. Wait, for, for one second, I just, I don't care if he's Jimmy Donaldson, if he's Mr. Beast, if he's Jake, if he's Jimmy John Jr., if he's Doug Dimmadome, I want him out of this house. If you really feel that strongly. Yes! Maybe we could see the Becky Blog come back. She was pretty. No, cool, wait, so. wait, no, 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 wait, 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 wait. I feel like I can make this work. I feel like if we just talk to him, if I have a sit down with Mr. Beast, we can fix things, right? All right, if you need my help, we're pretty tight. He, he really respects what I have to say. So. All right, I don't believe you at all, but all right. Hey, Jimmy! Bro? Jimmy! Stop calling him bro. Dude? Jimmy! Where is he? Why are you in my bed? And it's, it's comfy, and it, the living room is kind of full of trash, so. Are you eating my peanut butter out of the jar? It doesn't have your name on it. Jimmy, can you stop eating my peanut butter like that? That is vile, that is so upsetting. It's good. Can I just, can I talk to you for a minute? I just, I got a few things I wanna get off my chest. Can we, can we go outside, can we talk? Yeah, just, just give me a minute, okay? At this point, I feel like I'm on my last straw. He is in my bed, that is my safe place. His, his hand, his, all the way in my peanut butter. That is my safety snack. Hey, what's up, man? Yo, can we talk for a sec? I gotta be honest with you. Like every time someone moves into a house or an apartment, there's always like growing pains and hiccups. And I just feel like it hasn't, we haven't been bonding. I, right? you know what? I think I see what's happening. No, no, just let me, let me talk for a sec. I got it. You think you're Mr. Beast, but you're not the real Mr. Beast. And I just, I want to get that off my chest. And then maybe we can like have a real roommate conversation. Look, you want to be in my videos. No, I not, get it. That's not what I'm you saying. You guys have like 10 followers. I understand. First of all, not true. And not what I'm saying. I'll put you guys in one of my videos and you'll see. You'll absolutely go crazy. You, he saw us. See, like, you're going to put us in a video? Sure. I mean, that's all I really wanted for like the last six months. Just stick with me. I'll get you in a video. Just don't worry about it. I got it. Okay. okay. All right. I appreciate it. Uh, I tell you, he doesn't have a YouTube channel. What video are you gonna be on? I don't know. What's up, guys? Mr. Beast here. I'm gonna be doing 100 classic pranks in 100 minutes, and for every prank that I don't do, I'll be giving away ten thousand uh, dollars. To me, dude. Anyway, let's go. Sick intro. Nice to see you work, man. Thanks. Keep at. Can't wait. This is gonna be a great one. And uh, all you at home, follow me on Instagram, on TikTok. I'm at Casey Kremling. I'm your. Oh, okay. Oh, we're going. Okay, yeah. I'm on. Prank number one: doorway saran wrap. Is this good? No. More. Prank number two: pie to the face. He's never gonna see it coming. Let's go. Oh! Oh! Run! 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 I can't see. Not funny. Quick. This is not funny. <laughs> I'm on a real phone call right now. Guys, prank number 64, yoga ball to the back of the head. So now we're gonna see it coming. Dude, all day, you've been ruining my clothes and my face and my shirt. You go away for once! Hey guys, we're only 68 pranks through. So at that rate, I'm gonna have to give out $320,000. So stick around to the end of this video. But in the meantime, the milk prank to the face. Classic, never gonna see it coming. Dude, you gotta be kidding me. No, come look at this. I'm on a phone call. What did you do to my milk? Come here. What's it, your milk? What did you do? You have some respect that other people have things going on. You're you not put something in my milk. Look you at it. put something in your milk. Look at it, what's in your milk? Walk away. Just walk away right now, please. <laughs> God, I'm so excited. Dude, he's so, so mad. Yeah, he's that so was, that's bad. Oh, he's like Justin Tolerant. Makes it a legendary yeah. prank. <laughs> Where does this guy get off, man? He comes into my house and he's swinging his subscriber count around. He's rubbing it up in my face and he's pranking me over. You can't, you can't come in somebody's house and prank them hundreds of times. <laughs> Hundreds of times. Yo, what's up, Cart? Yo, dude. You've been filming yeah. with Mr. Beef? Obviously, he's popular. But Those things are great, man. You gotta keep it up. Best things you've no, ever posted. No, 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 no. I thought we were working through it. Maybe I'll have him join Team Roar. Dude, I thought we were working through it. I gotta go. Bye. Talk to you. Okay. Not only is Mr. Least coming into my house and ruining my life, but now he's taking my place on Team Roar. I'm kicking this guy out right now. I want you out of my house and I want you out of my- 
I don't know who you think you are. Actually, I, I do know who you think you are. You think you're Mr. Beast. And all the time, you are ruining my life. I want you gone today. I don't Mr. Beast? Is that you? Nathan? Yeah, Nathan? man. Hey, no what's way, going on? Nice to meet you. you. This is so right? I did. I think, yeah, yeah. my last video. No way. Man. This is awesome. Mind if I get a selfie real quick? Yeah, yeah. Sick. Let's do it. Let's do it. PS5! Thank you. One. You too. Where'd nice you? to meet you, for real. Where'd you get that? Is that, is that my PlayStation? Now you're stealing my stuff. I want you gone. I want you out today. I don't, I don't, no, shut up for one second. I want you out. I don't care if you're on a lease. I don't care if you have a key. I want everything back. If you are not gone in two hours, I'm telling everybody that you're a fraud. You are not Mr. Beast. You're a guy named Jake. I made you in a YouTube video. I want you gone. Alright. Alright. You could have done that hours ago? Whatever. Fine. I'm gonna live here anyway. Good. Finally, he's gone. People can actually see him for who he is. What's up, all you cool beasts and kittens? Listen, I got a new challenge for you today. Biggest game of hide and seek in the world. Whoever finds Ryan Prunty and brings me his head wins a million dollars. What are you gonna do? You have to get out of here. Mr. Beast wants me dead. He put out a bounty on my head for a million dollars, and if somebody kills me, he's gonna pay them. He gave them my address, they know where I live. He, I'm, I'm gonna die. I gotta go. I'm packing. I gotta get out of town. They're already here. I don't have time. People have already found where I live. I can't bring it to town. Man, you want some water? Actually? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Absolutely. Hey, let me take the cap off. Thank you. I've been running all day. Where are you running from? Uh, yeah, you wouldn't believe me if I told you. Hold on. Basically, what I'm saying is I can't take public transportation. Dude, dude, dude. Wait, 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 wait. Sorry, man. Like, I really just got to do it. I can't work construction anymore. This is my public. No, it's my truck. Sorry. I need to hide. I need to hide. Oh, God. God, this guy is insane. He's just sitting out there and crying in the road. He's leaving. I'm just gonna stay here for like 10 more minutes and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna get out of here. <sighs> it smells so bad in here. Everyone knows that I live in Los Angeles, so I need to get out of town, find a bus or a, a plane, find someone who I can trust, where I can lay low and just spend a little bit of time, you know, off the radar. I, I have a few people I think that I can talk to. Wait, 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 hear me out, hear me out. Hear me out. You don't wanna do this, just hear, hear me out for a second. I, I know it's a lot of money, but I, what do you want? What? I want a million dollars. I can I can offer you something better. Um, uh, what if I offer you? Hear, hear me out. Just like ten thousand. Oh, no! Come on, please, give me the law. Please, 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 this is getting ridiculous. I, I have nothing on me besides my phone and everybody is a threat. I don't know who knows who I am. I don't know who's after me. I gotta find a way out of this city and I, I can't take public transportation. I can't, I can't take my own car. I don't have my keys. Um, here's what I'm thinking. I'm ordering an Uber. Someone named Edgar is coming to pick me up. They're gonna take me to Los Angeles International Airport and whatever, whatever flight I can afford to get me out of the state, maybe even out of the country I'm going to take. I just have to get there safely. Uber, Uber's here. I think that's him. Hey, what's up, man? 
For, for Ryan? Yeah, yeah, I'm you, Uber. You're Edgar? Yeah, yeah, that's me. Yeah, okay, well, cool. Right, what's up, bro? Front, front seat. So yeah, if you could just get me to LAX as fast as possible, that is really helpful. Oh, nice. Going out of town for the weekend, huh? Hopefully forever. Forever. LA too much for you? LA's been a lot for me recently. Is this a, is this a, is a back way to get there? Oh. Oh, sorry. I gotta make a pit stop. Okay. We'll take one. All right. We'll be back on the road. Oh, okay. Um... This is an LAX, man. <laughs> think I'm about to get away with a million dollars for my money. This is my way out of here. It's my ticket out of here. I got the man. I got him. Now where's my ransom? Where's my money? We're gonna exchange more in. I don't know how we're supposed to do this. How are we supposed to trade him for this the? This isn't how it works. No one's gonna give you money for me. And I'm thinking here. I got it. Okay. He sent it on a TikTok. So maybe we do this in, in a TikTok form, you know? All right, Mr. Beast, I got the man. Man, there he is. Hey, say hello to the people. No. <laughs> Come on, okay. man. Uh, man, yeah, okay. it is. Mr. Beast or Mr. Beast wannabe, whatever you go by. Tell us what we need to do. Leave it in the comments. And, uh... Oh, my God, I'm gonna ask her. Stay here. Don't move. Oh, my God. Ah! Oh, Dude, you saved my life! You! Wait, 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 wait. I thought we were cool, you came and saved me! No, 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 you saved me! <laughs> Dude! You can't get wait, get back here! Wait, wait, hear me out, hear me out, wait, 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 Look at that. Oh. I'm so lucky I picked up his keys. Oh, start, 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 start! Why are you start? Oh, God, no. This psychopath! Oh, I think we're good. I think I'm safe. I'm taking a straight shot to the airport. And I'm getting out of here. I just got to the airport and it is insanely crowded here. Security is really tight. Should keep moving. And hopefully the next time you see me, I'm on a flight. I'm in another city now, but I still have to keep a low profile. I can't let people find me because if anybody who knows who I am sees me, I'm dead. I flew from my home in Los Angeles to some random city on the East Coast. I don't want to say where because I can't give away my location. I need to keep moving because anybody who recognizes me might try to claim this bounty and might try to kill me. I've already reached out to the only person that I think I can actually trust. I don't want to say who it is, but they're coming to help me. They'll, they'll be here any minute. I just need to survive for, I don't know, 30, 40 minutes in this city until they can pick me up. Problem is everyone else out here is probably trying to kill me. I mean, it's a lot of money, right? A million dollars is nothing to say. A million dollars is nothing to sneeze at. Um, what's up? What's up? What's up? Hey, we need to ask you a couple questions. Yo, 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 chill, chill, chill. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What did I do? What did you do? Step on, step on over here with us. What are you doing over here? What are you doing here? Is your name? Is your name Ryan? Are you Ryan? I think I lost them. Dude, you were the one who would look at. Look over there, boy. You told me you were going over there. There's no way that these guys are real cops. Pretty sure they're going back to their car. I need to keep moving. They're basically making me look like I'm a criminal because they're running around with fake badges. There's not a chance that these are real police officers. Come on, bro. Like, I, you really think I lost him? You did lose him. We would, I said go right, you went left. No, you said left, I go right. This is why I don't take you with me anymore, man. All right, now that these cops are on my tail, keeping a low profile just got a lot harder. This is just getting ridiculous. Everybody's out to get me. People are lying about who they are. I mean, what were these guys going to do? They were gonna, they were going to lie to me. They came up to me, they showed me their fake badges. And then what? They were going to, you know, just lie their way into getting me into the back of their car. They were gonna lock me in their car. They were gonna put handcuffs on me. They were gonna drive me off into the middle of nowhere. And then they were gonna, what, get me out of the car, push me on the ground. Rub my face in the dirt and then you know, kick me around a little bit and then they were gonna what, chop my head off and then put my head in a bucket and then fill that bucket with ice and then, you know, it'll be frozen so they can have my decapitated head and then they can drive across the country to this fake Mr. Beast guy just get a bunch of money that isn't even for them. I'm sure that these guys are running around somewhere looking for me, so I'm doing my best to lay low for as long as I can. I'm staying off the streets. I'm not staying out in public for too long. I do not want them seeing me. Let's actually look for him now because we gotta find this guy. I'm not trying to be out here all night. 
I need to make sure I watch out for silver cars, especially because I'm pretty sure that's what they were driving when they pulled up on me. I'm gonna be honest, it all happened really fast, so I don't remember super well, but I'm pretty sure that's what they were driving. Excuse me! Excuse me, sir. Have you seen a have you seen a skinny looking loser in a yellow shirt? A guy in a yellow shirt. It's Caucasian, about 5'10. Is it 5'8? No. Okay, I'm supposed to meet my pickup somewhere over here in between Pendo and the church. Uh, hello? Is anybody here? Oh, dude, I'm so glad. I thought I was never gonna find you, but wh why are you in a trash can? Dude, it's my secret location. Can you actually help me out? Here, this? Yeah. You just locked yourself in here? Yeah, usually the, uh, the abductor guy comes and helps me out sometimes. Okay. Oh, yes! Woo! Sorry if I stink a little, but it's okay. Are you, you okay? I'm good, good, but how are you doing, though? Okay. That's real question, because oh, everyone's after you right now. You have yeah, yeah. a pretty big bounty on you. Yeah, we cool? Uh, yeah, we're cool. Okay, right, let's go. Down. How you doing, ma'am? Quick question, have you seen a guy with the yellow shirt? He's about 5'10", skinny, walking around. Okay, thank you so much. Do you have a, a way for us to get out of here? Are you yeah, okay? I have an undercover car you'll ever see. Really? Okay. You know what, you know the first thing we gotta do actually? Huh. They know what you look like. They know how you're dressed right now. You got a bright yellow shirt. Yeah. We gotta go get you changed real fast. Okay, you have an idea? I, ha I have an idea. You know what I just remembered? I put a tracker on him, bro. When I was patting him down, I stuck a tracker on him. What? Yeah. You just now telling me this? Yeah, I kind of forgot because I- You forgot? Okay, we're here. We gotta stay calm. You gotta follow my lead, stick to the plan, okay. and- Is that a car? Okay. Just making sure. I gotta keep your eyes peeled, and also we gotta get you a change of clothes, okay? Okay. That's the most important thing. Okay, let's go. I'm following you. Follow me. We're going, we're going to Target? The stove, I can't be seen in public. Shh. Are you serious? We're going into a giant store. No, no one's gonna be here. Watch, watch this, okay? I gotta say, Stove's the only person I could trust, so I should follow him, right? Right there? That guy right there? Right? No? Yeah, check him out. That's He's me. That's not him. There's no one. Look. All right, look hey, that could have very easily been him with a different color shirt. Don't, do you think that maybe he... He could have changed? Why would he change? No. Oh, wait, take, take your clothes off. Wait, what? I'm gonna put these on. Take these on. You should have started with that. No, 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 there's no time. There's no time. Take my clothes off. Yeah. Yo, dude, like that. Sit down. Dude. All right. Tell me to change. I'm changing. Dude, you, what's taking you so long? All right, shoes on. There you go. Real quick. Yeah. What do you want me to do with all my clothes? All right, come on. Put these on. What's happening? Okay, do you have more? Good. Yeah. Follow my lead. I got a, I got a notification. Oh, where he is? You know where he is? Yeah. Oh. I think he's at Target. He's finally on to something. Okay. Target? Yeah, I think so. All right, so apparently Stokes idea is he's just gonna dress like me and pretend to be me and I'm gonna dress like an idiot. What are you doing? Not going by shirt now. I mean, I mean, we still, we're still, we're still looking for the yellow shirt because... Yeah. That's it. That's the cops, that's the cops. I'm gonna make them think that I'm you, okay? I'm gonna distract them, and as soon as they recognize me, you just take a straight shot. So you take hard, you don't keep Yeah, okay. And you just drive. Don't even look back, okay? You're sacrificing yourself for me? Don't look back, yeah, okay, okay? You're a really good friend. Don't think about me, just go, okay? I'll be a distraction, okay? Ready? Be safe. That's it? That's it. That's it. Go, stove, good luck. Where are you? Where are you? Hey, Why'd you run away from us earlier, bro? Hold on. What are you Why'd you run away? Why? Who? Who? Ryan. I'm not. What the Ryan. heck? Why are you wearing that? Right, this is really bad. Whoa, whoa, what's going on here? Dude, where'd you get those clothes? I was just shopping at Target. Where is he? Where'd you get those clothes? You know who we're talking about. Who? You know who we're talking about. Oh man, they're bullying him. I'm, I mean, we're at Target. I literally just bought this. Whoa, 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 whoa. Where did he go? Oh my gosh. Where did you put him? Oh Where did he what? go? Where did he go? We know you know. Okay, no, 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 put him down. Okay, I think they're kidnapping Stove now. I'm just gonna stay here. I'm gonna stay low. Um, oh, the poor guy. They're just manhandling him. Help! What's going on? Hey, you tell us. You tell us where he is, and then you tell us. Who? Just tell us who? Where did? Where who? Did he? I'm just gonna stay here, and they're gonna take Stove, and that's totally fine. This is insane. Tell us where I he is. I can't remember. Where is he? I forget. Oh, no, no, Come no, no, no. on, look at me. Look at me. You know where he is. I know that you know where he is. You tell us now, we'll let you go. I'm trying to think. I'm trying we'll to think. We'll let right you now. go if you tell us. 
Uh, oh, okay. Oh, okay, 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 no, 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 please, please, please. I told you where I was. See, let me go, right? Yeah, yeah, we're gonna let you go. Ah! Get him in. Ah! Oh, they're leaving. No, 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 no. What do I do? Do I follow him? Do I? No, no, no. I'm gonna do what Stove said. He said he was sacrificing himself for me. He is a good friend, but I am leaving. I am driving to another friend's house and I'm not stopping until I get there. Someone I can trust, someone who I know, no matter what, will have my back. Can you drive a little saucer? It's a little uncomfortable. Oh, Listen, okay. next time you be smart, we're gonna speed up while we're opening the trunk. Guess what, you're gonna roll right out. That, that would be bad if I rolled out, oh my gosh, yeah. I'm just gonna drive and I'm gonna keep on driving. I'm not gonna stop until I get there, no matter what. That's what he said to do, and that's what I'm gonna do. I'm not a bad person, I'm not. The only other person that I know anywhere around here is my friend Carter, and I'm pulling up to his house right now. I think if I just, if I just talk to him for a minute and I just sit him down, he'll hide me, he'll, he'll stash the car, he'll put me inside and let me crash, you know, just for a few days. So, oh, he's here, he's here, he's here. Yo, Carter, you gotta help me. No, please, you gotta, dude, you gotta help me. No, you gotta help me, no, help me, help me. No, no, no. Put me inside, no. put me inside. No, you're, leave. Why? You're not welcome. Why? No, Everything you, that you've done, are you kidding me? Why? That's not Team Rar at all. Get out of you're here. You're supposed get... to be my friend. Help, help, help no, me up. No, not your friend when you're acting like that. You need to go right no, now. No, just talk to you. Just give me a minute. Let me explain everything. How about this? Leave! I'm calling, I'm calling the cops if you don't leave. No, 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 no. I will no, no, call no, the police. No. Go. No. Hey. Come on, yeah. man, you're supposed to help me! Oh my god, he's so fast! Oh my god. Oh no, they found me. Oh my Just go away! Leave me alone! You swimming? You are you coming? You are probably the worst two cops I have ever met. We're coming back for you. Alright, come and get me. At least honestly if I'm if I'm trapped out in this you know Lego house on the water, I don't think anybody can come and kill me. I am the biggest YouTuber in the world, 100 million subscribers. And no one can bring me Ryan Prunty's head on a silver platter for a million dollars. You know what? We're gonna up it. Two million dollars for Ryan Prunty's head. Bring it! I just want someone to kill this guy! Ah! I'll do it. You will? You'll kill him? Yeah, I will. Mr. Jimmy? I'm your biggest fan. Oh, uh, thank you. You you, you will kill Ryan Prunty for me. Yeah, I'll kill Ryan Prunty. I'll do it for free. You don't have to pay me anything. But, but I'll still give you the $2 million. It's not about the money. It's about revenge. Ryan Prunty, where are you? Oh, there he is. Ryan Prunty. I say up. Now it's time for me to strike.
Hey, hello? Uh, where am I? Wait. This is my house. Guys? Come on, come on, come on, come on. For those of you who don't know, this guy's Kyle, and he's obsessed with me and my friends. I think he's some insane stalker, and I don't know what he wants with me this time. All right, I think I just crawl over the top or crawl out of here. Yeah. I got something in store for you. Before I destroy you, I'm gonna have a little bit of fun. Oh, hey! Get back in there! Yeah, get, get back in there! <laughs> Is that a taser? I'm gonna okay, destroy okay, you! I'll stay! First, I'm gonna disgrace you! Yeah. What do you want me to do? Be my bumblebee. What? Happy? Yeah. Oh, wait. I think you need some honey. Honey. <laughs> <laughs> wait, you're <laughs> You're gonna be sticky. Like a sticky little bumblebee. You don't need to be. Uh, <laughs> oh! Macaroni and cheese? All right, if I just entertain him for long enough, he'll let me go. Oh, okay. <laughs> what? You want a snack? No, you want to let me out. Oops. Get the cheese in there. Got the cheese. That doesn't smell okay. God. What else should we do? You know what? I'm pretty good at this. I'm better than Ryan Pruny. I'm better than Mr. Beast. Maybe I should do this full time. Kyle Prunty. Mr. Kyle. Yeah, the YouTube's mine now. All the YouTube. What's up guys, I'm Kyle Prony with another Kyle Prony YouTube video. Today, we're doing a challenge where we're gonna disgrace Ryan Prony. And we're gonna pour stuff on him. And every time we pour stuff on him, he's gonna try and survive. Every level he survives, you guys get money. <laughs> Make sure you subscribe to the channel right now, cause this one's worth $100. Let's start pouring. Can I, can, I, can you let me go please? No. He's Oh, it's really stuck in there, Ryan Prunny. <laughs> yeah. It's jelly kind of lame. It's not really working. We're gonna have to do something else. Maybe some chowder? No, stop! No! <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> Subscribe if you think he looks like a goldfish. Oh, that smells so terrible, dude. Oh, you little fishy. <laughs> Are those pop rocks? It's fish rocks. Hmm. Should we do pickles or should we do makeable syrup? Hmm. Kyle, Kyle! Crunchy pancakes. Mm. Alright, at least it smells better than the chowder. Mm. Look at the floor in here. Are you poor? Are you doing okay there? No, please let me out. Give you some refreshment. <laughs> you want some carrot? <laughs> Jock. He survived three challenges. That means each subscriber gets two thousand dollars in Ryan Prunny bucks. <laughs> yeah! All my loyal YouTube subscribers, I don't think this is enough. I think we're gonna need more stuff to to put on him. I'm gonna find some more stuff. I think he left or he's leaving. Um, and yeah, maybe this would be a good time to escape. But if I leave, he's gonna shock me, and I don't want that. So I'm just gonna stay here, and maybe he'll let me go at some point. I'm just like a sad bumblebee. Okay guys, it's kind of quiet in the house today, so I think it's a perfect day to work on my side project, which is cooking with Casey. Today I'm gonna teach you a secret family recipe, Casey's signature fettuccine. You're gonna love this. First guy gets some noodles, okay? So once your noodles are done cooking, you're gonna have to strain them, all right? Hey, hey, I need some more stuff. <laughs> I, what are you doing here? I'm just crazy Ryan Pruny, and I need stuff like this. <laughs> my noodles! My noodles is for my show. I spent forever. I spent a lot to do cooking those. Oh, get, uh, let, let me get the door for you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, dude, come back with my noodles. You can't just come taking people's noodles. Hey, Casey, what is Brian? Help me. What are you doing? Oh, what is wait. this? Kyle, Kyle, what is it? Kyle, you want the noodles? Oh, oh, oh my God. Ooh. Kyle, come, Kyle. Kyle. That's my mom's family recipe, Kyle! Fettuccine al pronti. Is this Ryan's idea? It's Kyle's idea, because it's my channel now. Wait, Kyle. it's dessert time. Ryan Pruny. Honestly, this one's not even that bad. <laughs> he thinks that my channel, the Ryan Pruny channel, is now the Kyle Pruny channel. 
Wait, you're related? No! He says, if I try to leave, he's not gonna give away any money, so I'm gonna make everybody disappointed, but if people are subscribed, he's gonna give away money for every layer that I do, but if I try to leave, he's gonna shock me, which I already said, but he's gonna shock me, and I don't wanna deal with that, because it's gonna hurt. Wait, wait, he's giving money away to all his subscribers? Yeah. So if I subscribe right now, to this channel, and help him put stuff on you, I'll get more money. No, no, that's not, that's not what I meant. <laughs> Oh, oh, that's really itchy. It's like itching powder. It's so itchy. Oh my god. How much is there? The powder <laughs> You don't have to do this. I want you to pass the challenge. Here. Oh, I think if you open the other side, it's bigger. Okay, thanks, Casey. How much? You, you, you should have your own. Oh, okay. What? Then you'll be done sooner. Okay, you're right. <laughs> you really, this would really go well with the tomato based sauce. It, it's a little dry right now, I think. Oh, yeah? You think I should put the tomato sauce on, Casey? Casey, I'm gonna kill would you. Would you put tomato sauce too? Yeah, I got some over here. No, oh, come on, man. Ryan, you're trying to sneak in the. Kyle, finish the, oh. <laughs> the tomato sauce. <laughs> <laughs> It kind of looks like you're like the Wendy's mascot now. Like you got like red hair. Can you ask him, is there anything I can give him for him to let me out? Just go ask him, please. No, nothing can make me happy. I'm not gonna be happy till he's dead. He wants you to D-Y-E. Tie-dye? What are you talking about? No, no, just, just the second half. You just gonna die something? Part. What am I gonna no, die? No, no, you're, yourself. Like. <sighs> be dead? Kyle, what are you doing? You some pickles? I can't open pickle jar. You're too weak. I got it. Oh, oh that one's so warm. <laughs> yeah, warm pickle. Why are they so juicy? Ow! <laughs> Ow! What is wrong with you? Ow! Kyle. Well, what are you gonna do with all the rest of this? I guess we just pour it on him. Okay, well, here, let me help, because I think he could, he smells a little bad, so I think I got it. Okay, Kyle, I think... I think it's gone on long enough. He's obviously suffering. I don't think there's anything else you could really do. That's... He needs to be disgraced, Casey. There's four more levels for him to pass. Four more levels? Yes, and then he dies. Wait, what? Away. Well, how much money are you actually giving away now? Five million dollars. All right, you heard it here. You subscribe right now. You're gonna get five million dollars at the end of this video. Is this oil? Yeah. Oh, we're cooking. Oh my God. We're cooking Ryan Prunny. Hey, hey. Ryan, Ryan, he's insane. You gotta get out now. Get out, dude. Get out. Do something. He's distracted. He's getting some. Get out. Get out. Okay. Slip through the gap. Oh, oh my God. You're so. Oh, no. You're so slippery. Ah. Ah. Like a greased pig. I know. Oh, my hand's all gross now. Try climbing out. See if you can climb out. Enjoy action. Dude, how am I supposed to climb? I don't know. Just pull yourself up. Put your foot, foot in here and jump up. He's gonna shock me. Casey, please, just help. Just help. I'll, I'll give him anything he wants. I'll do anything. I'll be his little bumblebee forever. He can have my YouTube channel. I'll give him all the money I have. He can have whatever it is. I just, I just let me out, please. Okay, I'll try. I'll try. Please, please, please. Kyle, Kyle, uh, great news. Her, heard from Ryan. He's down to give you his channel, whatever money you want. He just wants to be done. He wants to be let out. Oh, that you can have done. what I'm... There's what? only one challenge left. There's only one more challenge? Wait, 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 Ryan, wait, wait, wait. So there's only one more challenge. Whoa! Was that confetti? Confetti? Why confetti? Because we're celebrating, Ryan. What? Celebrating what? <laughs> You'll see. Wait, what, what are we celebrating? Yeah. Kyle? I don't think I can get out of here, but it seems like there's only one thing left, and then he'll let me go. Kyle? <laughs> Kyle, what are you doing? Where are you going, Kyle? With swords. Kyle, let's not play with swords, all right? No. Kyle? It's too long. Too long for what? Okay, Kyle, what are you doing? What is the plan here, all right? <laughs> oh, no. And okay, Kyle, Kyle, you said you'd let him out. You got <laughs> Kyle, what are you doing? That's gasoline. What are you doing? I'm gonna murder Ryan Pretty. What? <laughs> Why? Why? He did everything you asked. You got to torture him. You put him in the thing. You did also... Why are you gonna kill him? Mr. B told me to. Kyle, this isn't funny. Kyle, you need to stop. <laughs> Kyle! Where's that coming from? Oh, no, it's the buzz. <laughs> Okay. Okay. I gotta get out of here. You aren't gonna believe this. Check this out. Ryan, you have to hand over the channel or I will die. Oh my God. Mr. Beast is going to die. Yes, Jake. Who will his 100 million subscribers watch? You have 10 hours. Oh my God. Stop. Stop. Please. Stop. Is it good? 
Wait, what do you mean it's not good? How is that good? This is great. He's gonna kill him. You're gonna let him die? I'm not stopping it from happening, but it's not my fault. This guy's trying to ruin my life. One, that's not who you are. You need to be a good person. And two, if that guy kills Jake, yeah. you're next. What do you mean I'm next? You think he's just gonna stop he's at not gonna, Jake? Why would he come after me? Did what you see what that guy was wearing? Orange pants. <laughs> Robert's back. We can't take any chances. We go over there. We kill both of them. Oh, okay. We bring them to justice. Okay, we go over there. We stop Robert Payne. We save Jake. Yeah, I can work with that. Where are we? What are we doing here? I have 100 million subscribers. Do you think that they're just going to sit back and stand for this? You know who I am? I am the most prominent YouTuber in the entire world. Can you just say something? Can you tell me anything that's going on? I don't think you understand the kind of trouble that you're about to be in. If you don't get out of here right now, you are going to get locked up for... Uh, stop! This is Mr. Beast. Uh-huh. He's a good guy. Then this is a Mr. Beast imposter. And he is a bad guy. Yeah, bad. And he wants to kill him. But now someone wants to kill him. Wait, who? Someone? And that someone, <laughs> Robert Payne. That's a question, you don't know? We don't know. We also have orange pants, but who else wears orange pants except for Robert Payne? You're wearing orange pants, dude. These are orange shorts, all right? They're a reasonable wardrobe choice. Long orange pants, no place for that in decent society. He's coming for the Mr. Beast imposter, who we know is actually Jake. How long till he comes for you? Wait, why me? What did I do? I don't know, but he sent you this ransom for a reason. He sent us the location. This is his lair on 28th and Fuller. We need a plan to get in there. We need to save Jake. Oh, but wait, I hate Jake. Okay, he's a stupid kid. If you let him die, then who's Robert gonna go after next? Me. Yes, you. Oh, sh but don't worry, Ryan, I have a plan. So plan one, which I'm calling plan A, we got me on top of you in a trench coat. No, 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 that doesn't work. Have you seen this neighborhood? Sir, that doesn't sir. work, Casey, you already wrote it down. You're too heavy, it doesn't work. No, I'm a, I'm a heavy hitter, so that's, that's a good thing. I'm so heavy, like I am, I come in heavy. Plus, then we get to be really tall. I'm not doing this, it's not gonna work. Okay, okay, but I do have a plan two, which I'm calling plan B. One, you might not like this one, and hear me out, I think it will work. We get the tattoo titan himself, Mike Ferguson. It's one bulky boy. Absolutely not. He ghosted us, he broke our trust. I'm not working with him again, fine. I'll do your first plan, whatever. We can do the trench coat, but no Mike. All right, next stop, 28th and Fuller. Okay, look, look, I admit it, I admit it, okay? I'm not Mr. Beast. I'm just some regular guy, okay? No YouTube subscribers, no girlfriends, no mansion in North Carolina, nothing, okay? I still live with my parents. I don't know why you're working for Ryan, but please, you have the wrong guy. <laughs> why would I be working for Ryan Prenny? He smashed my mom in the face, and he bullied me. I'm working for myself. Wait, didn't I hire you to kill Ryan? Aren't we on the same side? Don't we both want Ryan dead? <laughs> I'm taking care of the problem, and the problem is bigger than you. It's bigger than all of you two. You said you were one of my biggest fans. You couldn't take care of Ryan. Now I'm taking care of him. It doesn't bode well for you. <laughs> what, do you what do you mean that doesn't bode well for me? What does that mean? <laughs> so supposedly, Jake is being held in this building right here. <laughs> so the plan is, we're gonna go in there, we're gonna scope out, see where Jake's being held. Right. Guys, we need your help now more than ever. Make sure you subscribe, you're not gonna wanna miss what's gonna happen. No, that's not right. He's an evil, evil man. <laughs> yeah. Put this on. Right. You look good? Aloha, would did no, you order do some of the donuts? No, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> if we go inside, we're just looking for Jake. We're not trying to break him out oh, yet. Oh, she got all jelly donuts. What do you want me to do? Come on. Okay. I'm okay. still confident in this Shh. plan. We just gotta find out where he is. Let's go. Oh, uh, hello! Delivery! <laughs> uh, delivery for anyone who is here? Hey! Someone here? What are you doing here? Oh, my lair! Turn it off! Oh, how are you doing here? Kyle? Yeah, it's me. Do you have anyone else here who can sign for these donuts? Oh, my God. I'll gladly sign for some donuts. If there's an adult, like a big scary man who has a beard and is a prisoner man, is he here? No, I haven't seen anybody like that. Yeah, let me check out these donuts. Oh, okay. Oh, no, man. Oh, no. There's no sprinkles on these donuts. I, I didn't make the donuts. I just delivered them. You take them back. I don't want them. I want a refund. Give me my money back. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. Uh, maybe there's someone. I think someone named Jake ordered these. Do you have a... A Jake, a Jake Beast? Is there a Jake Beast here? There's no Jake Beast here. Rob Payne? There's a lot of different names you could sign for, so I'm sorry, Kyle can't sign for these. Scott, maybe we should take a look around and see what's going on in this place. Yeah, like maybe over this way. Yeah, maybe, or maybe in this corner. Is there anyone who needs donuts here? Let's check this way. Uh, oh, nothing there. Let's check, why are there, 
Why are there jails in here, sir? There's, there's no, you don't need to look no. Dang, uh, cops love donuts. Maybe that's why. Yeah. Um, what's what's in this room? I'm sorry. This is this is what you gotta do when you deliver donuts. The, the, no, I just need to do. I need to. Go, 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 go somewhere, go somewhere. Hey, go, 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 I don't even like donuts anyways. That was a disaster. What are you supposed to do? It doesn't work at all. I didn't see Jake in there anywhere. I know. What do we do? All right, we need a new plan. What? Think bigger. What do we got? We think bigger. We think, think stronger. Scary. No. No, no, no. i I'm not. We need backup. He's the only one we can trust. He's the only one we can pull us off. Give me your hoodie. I'm a bit tied up here, genius. Hey, I'll tell you. Wait, what is even your end game here? What do you want with me? I already admitted to you that I'm not Mr. Beast. You're a bad Mr. Fake Beast anyway. So, so what? You're gonna become the new Mr. Beast? Oh no. I'm gonna kill the old Mr. Fake Beast. No. <laughs> <laughs> like and subscribe. <laughs> Comment below. Casey, please, I don't want to do this. What are you talking about? Not only does Robert Payne have Jake, he has Kyle, too. I don't care. I don't like either of them, and I don't want to go open this can of worms. He doesn't want to be our friend anymore. He doesn't want to help us. He's been ghosting me for like a year. We don't have the muscle to do this. We need to call in the big guys. Mike. Hey, man. Hey, how's it going, man? Come here. Uh, long time no see, man. Long time no see, brother. Yeah, I'm sorry to drop in on you like this. Casey had something he wanted to talk to you about. What's up, little man? Uh, hey, Mike. Yeah, so uh, Ryan just wants to say um, he knows that he's been really bad at keeping up the texting and the being emailing. Being a friend? Hold on, being a friend? Is that what we're talking about? I'm not trying, we're not trying to fight with you. We just wanted to talk to you. I don't, I don't want to say this, but we really need your help. This is a really personal conversation, so you should get up close. Oh, um, hey, my, um. You've been working out still, haven't you? Oh yeah. And I know this is coming out of nowhere because we haven't talked for a while, but we, Casey and I were talking and we think that um, Robert Payne might be back and we really need your help because And we... if you help us, Ryan will apologize for everything and he won't hold it against you that you ghosted him. Listen, we'll talk about that friend stuff later, but right now, I'm involved with some bad stuff, guys, and I don't want to get you involved. So I can't, I'm, I, I'm sorry, I uh... We need stuff that's worse than Kidnapping and ransom notes and, and potentially murdering me. Listen guys, I'm involved with some bad people I don't want to talk about it because I don't want to get you involved with it. Do you understand? Okay, yes, but we need your help so Mike, 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 just talk. Listen to me. Mike, talk. I told you Listen, this is for your own good, both of you, alright? Just let it go Okay We'll get out of here I'm sorry, man. Listen, and don't ever show your faces around here again, okay? Or I'm gonna whip you for your own good. You understand? Shake your heads. Dude, Casey. I'm gonna shake your head. Shake it. For your own good, I'll whip you. I don't know why he's so on edge. He used to be so chill. All right, Mike refused to help us, but we're out of time, so we need to bust in there and save Jake through any means necessary. Stay low, stay quiet. Let's go. Check the places we didn't see when we were the trench coat guy. Okay. This is really from the video that we got. He was here. Okay, so let's go. We're on the right track, right? Hey, there's a bunch of jail cells over here. You go, I'll watch out. Why are you watching out? Because that's that's what I do. I watch out. I make sure if they save you. You just said you were gonna fight. No, but you're the cool action hero guy. No, right? you're the, no, I'm you're the, the strong guy. tough one. That's why you were I'm on the top. I'm a marathon runner. And you run into action in battle. No, I run away to get reinforcements. I'm glad that you finally admitted it. Let's go. Oh my god. It's taking all these Mr. Beast. Look at all the money in here. Look at this. This is crazy. Dude, it's just wild how much money's here. That's just gonna, you know, just like Give it to me. What if we need to get a ride home? Then I should hold on to this. Let's go. Clear. The cells are empty. Jake. Jake. Oh my god, Jake. Jake. He's not responding. Do something. What do you want me to do? I promise the only answer is to his real name. No, I'm not doing that. I'm not calling you. What if it's you on way? Mr. Beast, we're here to save you. <gasps> Mr. Beast, you just had 200 million subscribers and people want to know that they're asking that you give away the entire country. What do you want me I to do? His pulse or something. His pulse? He's not moving. He's probably dead. Dude, we're going to have to find Kyle before pain kills him. I don't do well with this kind of stuff. I don't know what to do. What do you want? Casey! Casey! 
Crazy. <gasps> Dude, where are we? we? We're in the shipping container. Where are we going? Are your hands tied? Yeah. My hands are tied too. Kyle! Kyle, let us out! What if we're already on the ship somewhere? I don't think we're on a ship, we're not moving. No, I'm seasick. I feel, I feel grumpy. I'm seasick. I'm seasick. Why would you ship us somewhere? He's trying to kill us. Snap out of it! It's time we get out of here. He's strong. No, no, no. He finally awake. Come, come, come. Untie some rope. Come, come. and get back. I'm not gonna untie you. Who's pain? Casey, what do you not understand about the fact that Kyle is trying to kill us right now? Why? Why? I'm gonna Why? destroy all the YouTubers. I'm gonna kill both of you. What are you doing? Come on, just, just let's go. Come on. I'm gonna use you two as bait to get all the YouTubers here. I'm gonna kill them, and then I'll be the only YouTuber. Please stop touching your beard to my face. <laughs> 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 Casey, help me!